just just play something. It doesn't matter. You like some live? Yes. Alright. <laughs> I got diagnosed probably I think when I was around seven. Oh wow. Yeah, I was pretty young. I How old are you now? I'm uh, 16, in June I'll be 17. The memory isn't too good, but I still remember it very, like, pretty well. I just remember just not knowing, because I was a kid, you know, not really understanding a lot of it, but still understanding it. Just remember just being like, all the time. Oh, uh, it's over, and just sitting there, just like for hours, just like, uh, yeah. Is that, like, what's happening? You know? What I used to do, honestly, when my stomach would hurt, I'd just go play some video games for like, Nine hours straight, not even kidding. Just, you know, just all day, and then I, then I used to play baseball, which I couldn't end up doing anymore because of my leg. So then I'm like, wait, music, you know? Like music, it's like I don't know, it gets me through the day. I, my, I was raised on some pretty good music. You know, my dad with the Beatles, Zeppelin. You know, cool. And expanded to everything I can. You know. But, but that's uh, it that you got turned on early. Yeah, I've been playing for about seven years now, because since I, when I was nine I started. And when I was little, I was apparently the kid that healed himself. But I, I was on a bunch of drugs, so I don't think I healed myself. <laughs> no, but I know, yeah, I know what you <laughs> mean. Like, yeah, my, yeah. The yeah. doctors were like, Wow. Yeah, like, what did you do? I don't know, I guess kept a positive attitude, you know? Like, mm -hmm. Your mind is a lot more in control than you think. Oh, you know? completely and absolutely. The crazy thing about this is when people ask you, how do you stay so positive about it? And you just look at them like, well, wait, what, are, what am I supposed to do? Just lay in bed and just like, you know, not do anything forever? You know what I mean? Honestly, it's one of the silliest questions that people can ask you. Do, yeah, people keep positive about it. Like, this life isn't the same. You know? No, and, and base, like, every day counts a little bit more. When you know you have something like this, to me, I always tell people that getting Crohn's in some ways was the best thing that happened to me because it really made me get my priorities came in line really fast. I've always been like, we've, uh, I went to the walk last year and everything and you know, trying to get involved, you know. I went to the Roundup River Ranch camp. Oh and, wow! And I wrote a song for the camp when I was there. So they sent, so they sent me out to represent them in New York, play at the Lincoln Center for the, at the gala. Oh wow, dude, that is camp. awesome! Yeah. And That's then, awesome! And then uh, the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation made me the honored hero, which is crazy. <laughs> no, but dude, that's, that's it's, you deserve it. I mean, and that's I mean, that's really it, that's that's uh, for a guy like me. It's, it's you have no idea how inspirational that is because it's kind of empowering. It makes you feel like you have a little bit more control over it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it's like you know a lot of people else have it too. It's like you're not the only person in the world. No, that's the truth. Know? It's the truth. You know because. We, there's a lot of times where you do feel really isolated. Please come down and support the Crohn's, Crohn's and Colitis Foundation at our annual Walk for the Cure, June 16th at City Park.